Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Insider Gamer. Welcome to a new game today, Anonymous Hacker Simulator. Now this is soon to be released on the 3rd of April 2024, so only a couple of days to go. A uh, big thank you to Creative Forge and uh, Play Away for allowing us access to the game. So a little bit about this. We get to immerse yourself in a captivating digital world where every keystroke holds the power to unravel the deepest secrets. Begin your journey in the safety of your hidden apartment, equipped with the arsenal of a realistic streamlined command such as Nmap, Harvester, Aero Crack, H ping, burp, and more. As you dive deep into the game, navigate through an intricate web of into intrigue, uh, discovering hidden truths and unraveling a conspiracy that spans the country. Stay one step ahead of your adversaries and exploit vulnerabilities, troll online pages, and manipulate the internet. So this game isn't for the faint-hearted. Um, it is a little bit difficult. Now I had a little go just to see what the game was about, and I did struggle. This is not in any way a tutorial for anybody, um, but I will do my best to kind of navigate through what we have to do. Now there are two options. There's like the hard mode, and then there's the kind of easier mode. Uh, so we will be playing on easy mode, but it does help you out a little bit because I, I just have to. I don't know enough about hacking and terminals and all that kind of stuff uh, personally, but it is quite a fun game. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to start a new game. So here you go. You get the difficulty level. You get master hacker, test your skills, experience for the ultimate challenge. Choose difficulty level if you're an experienced hacker seeking a real challenge. Minimal hints are provided, putting your hacking expertise to the test. But we're going to go into the novice hacker because unfortunately that's what I am. Dive into the world of hacking with beginner friendly difficult level. Ideal for those new to hacking or looking for a less challenging experience. Receive more hints and guidance to help you navigate through each gig. Okay. To gain entry into our collective, you must demonstrate your proficiency through various gigs and ascend the ranks. Now consider this your warm-up challenge. Do you think you have what it takes to hack your neighbor's Wi-Fi? Ah, uh, well, we're gonna try. So here we go. Here's our little apartment. There's not much we can really do in here. The main things are sleeping and uh, the PC. The PC obviously is gonna be the main thing here. And uh, yeah, so look, what we're gonna do, access the laptop. In the vast expanse of cyberspace, lies the underground web, a realm where hackers converge, communicate, and find lucrative gigs. It's the gateway to hidden opportunities. Once connected, you'll discover a multitude of tasks that will test your skills and showcase your hacking prowess. These gigs will propel you within our collective. Okay, so we get a bit of a tutorial that kind of explains things. Now, I did work out that it doesn't always help you throughout uh, the challenge, but here we go. So, gig serve as a primary means of earning money and building your reputation. There are two types of gigs you can get. Main, which advance the main storyline within the collective, and side gigs, which broader opportunities. Uh, when selecting a gig, you'll be presented with a list of steps to follow in order to make the progress. Some steps may include commands, arrow dump uh, at the end, indicating that you must use the terminal on your desktop to execute this specific command. Okay. So, trial by Wi-Fi is our main gig, that's what it wants us to do, and it's going to break it down what we need to do. And the main things here are uh, begin by scanning surrounding networks. We've got to establish the connection, send the target DUF frames to Wi-Fi, and attempt to crack the target Wi-Fi with the words list. Now, I don't know, is this music copyright striked or not? Um, we'll leave it on a little bit, a little bit's okay. Okay, so what it wants us to do is go into the terminal. Terminal is basically where we're going to run everything. In the terminal, you can enter commands that allow direct interaction with underlying operating systems. Commands are usually divided into several components. You've got command name, you've got the flags, and you've got the values. And ensure when you write the entire command accurately, additional functionalities within the terminal include tab button, which we all use a lot. So the tab button on this one will help us just move the, like, you know, the error run. The CH, you'll see in a second. Arrow keys, these will help navigate through previous entered commands to making it easier to use. Okay, so it's a very simple start by trial by Wi Fi. So begin by scanning the surround network. So we need to do an aero dump. So this will basically look um, for anything that's around. And you can see here we've got a super Wi Fi, we've got the BSSID. Perfect. So now it wants us to establish a connection to the Wi-Fi. Command is arrow run. So now that we've got that, we want uh, arrow run. So now if I press tab, you can see it bringing up the channel. So we need to make sure it's channel one and the BSSD. Now there's a lot of copy and pasting you have to go on in this game, but you know, that's what hacking is all about. So we're going to copy that. We'll paste it in there. 
Okay, so we're now connected to his network. So it wants to send a targeted do frames to Wi-Fi. So the command is arrow play. Okay. And then again, we need to make sure we uh, put it into the station here this time. Now, there is a free prologue in this game for you guys to check. Oh, sorry. It was supposed to be the BSSD. Ah. We'll make a lot of mistakes. And don't worry about making mistakes because this game... Unless you really know what you're doing, it is a bit of a fumble. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's kind of fun, to be honest with you. So here we go. Sending uh, the broadcast codes. I think we're going to have to turn the music off. I think uh, one... It's a bit loud in two. I'm just not sure. Okay, so we've got the handshake. You see the cap here now. Uh, so what we now need to do is crack it. So arrow uh, crack. And then it needs the cap, which is here. So we'll just press control C, just like you would in your normal computer. There we go. Testing keys. So now it's cracking into his Wi-Fi. Objective. You will need to acquire additional software. Navigate to the underground web and launch Hackify to purchase InMap and Metasploit. Okay, so we need to purchase some things. So we're going to go into Hackify. So Hackify here is going to be where we can buy all our exploits. You're going to see all this very soon. And because uh, certain computers will need certain things. Uh, we've got phishing. So we can do uh, harvesting, malware, credit cards. I can steal credit card information, uh, sell software accounts. Um, so yeah, first things first though, it wants Nmap, which is $100. So I've only got $300 in the bank, as you can see here. So we're going to buy Nmap. And the other one was uh, Metas Metasploit. Penetration testing framework. Okay, so that's 150 That's like all my money now gone into this. Uh, we can uh, disconnect from this. Because there we go. Okay, so if we go back into the underground web, then so we got a side gig. So all the gigs will be here. Uh, Operation Soundwave. As you progress through the game, we'll encounter gigs that present optional and multiple choices that will affect your moral alignment. Your decisions will shape your character's moral compass. This will impact the conclusion of the game, determining whether you become a grey, white, or black hat hacker. I'm not sure what kind of hacker we want to be yet, but we'll find out. Okay, so we've got it here. So it's, it brings up everything here. Purchase Nmap. We've done that. Leave your apartment and head downtown. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll, all right, we're leaving. Uh, okay, downtown. Okay, so we're downtown. It wants us to access the megaphone, which is here. Attention. This is a public announcement. The party on this rooftop needs to come to an end. Please turn off the music and disperse peacefully. Oh, look. Who's playing Rooftop Cop now? You sure you're at the right party, Grandpa? I said turn off the music and end the party now! Sorry, mate, I can't hear you over the groove. Let's pump up the volume and make this night epic. Okay, so he's an ass. So, what it wants us to do next? Optional, locate a nearby power switch, inject an ID into the circuit control EAX malware and upload... Okay, I'm not sure how to do that. So this must be the, the circuit box. Uh, it's optional. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go back to the computer then. Uh, so we pretty much got everything that we need here. We're going to bring up the terminal again. So what it wants us to do is run an in-map... Oh, so it's given us the IP. So that's good. Locate a nearby power switch. So I suppose if we did arrow... Uh, arrow... Is it, is it arrow dump? I can't remember which one was the first one now. No. Uh, arrow. Run. No. Arrow. No. It's amazing how you forget so quickly. But if we go to the completed gigs, trial by Wi Fi. Oh, begin scanning. Arrow dump was it? Okay, so it, I didn't find what I'm looking for there. So yeah, I'm not sure how to do this. Optional. Uh, locate a nearby power switch, inject its ID into the control X malware and upload the modified malware to initiate a power shutdown. Okay, well I'm not sure unless that's it, but it doesn't look right, if I'm honest with you. So what we're going to do then, so we now have Nmap. So Nmap will be able to search uh, people's IPs. 
we're going to be using nmap a lot so buying that first and costing as much as it did well you have to for the game anyways but you know it's going to be a, a good thing that we're going to need a lot so the system is most likely to be vulnerable to an ftp bounce attack 1.0.0 exploits can be purchased on the underground hack uh, so like i said so now we've got these system servers uh so what what kind of attack did it want it wants the ftp bounce attack 1.00 here it is 10 pounds we now have it. So, you know, we're building our collection of hacks. And it wants us then to connect to the server utilizing exploit command use. Okay, so then we're going to want to use. Uh, so the name is going to be FTP bounce attack. So we want to make sure we put that name in here. Uh, the version is what is up there 1.0.0. .0, and the IP is the same IP as we had before. We're just going to copy and paste that. There we go. That should throw in the attack. Okay, credit cards and accounts. During your hacking endeavors, you might stumble upon personal credit card details linked to accounts. Exploit the valuable information as an advantage trading and confiscation of possessions in the under underground web hacker fire. Some of the accounts may not raise red flags, but handling credit cards significantly can increase your heat depending on your amount and method you choose. Okay, so we're going to talk about that now in a second. And we now need to upload files. And uh, so what we basically need to do, we need to target the files before we upload. Okay, so we're on his computer now. Basically, we've now hacked his. So as you can see here, we've got Spotify, which is going to be his music. What does it want us to do? Delete the file name DJ Broadcast. Okay, so if we delete this file, it actually stops the music. Now, if I had the music on, it would still be playing the music from the rooftop. That stopped his music, okay? So we deleted that. So the next thing I want to do is go into CC. So here we go. We've got credit card information. So if we go into... Uh, there's always a lot of things we've got to have open here. Don't know how hackers cope. So if we go into this, I'll show you how to do the credit cards. So credit cards are here. So it's quite simple. CC text. We know that this is his credit card. We can copy his number. Uh, 1023 is his expiry date. And his last three digits are 453. So what we can do now, you get a couple of options... Uh, so if we query the credit card, you can see I get plus one heat, but I'm getting $50 transfer balance of 45. Coin convert, so this will give me 42 and give me one heat. Or we can do crypto bridge, it'll give me no heat. I'll get less money, so you know what, because they take 20%. So I'm going to transfer that balance. So that's giving me $40. And I've got no heat from that, so I'm okay with that. Uh, we don't need to delete the file or anything. Uh, that's all fine. Okay, so we need to go back into his computer. So what it wants us to do next is upload the named DJ Animals MP3. So what we need to do is go to our uploads. We see that we got DJ Animals. You have to put this in here, and then we're going to do the next thing. Now, the next thing is upload. And then we need to put the DJ Animals. Now, it's from my computer. So if I go to here and go to uploads, you can just copy the name instead of having to type it all out. And we press V there. There we go. Okay, it's been uploaded, and now we can disconnect. So there we go. We've got $300, so that's I've got $380. Uh, so that's good. We've got some news here. We're going to need all these news items. Uh, things will spark up at some point. Uh, we've got the tweeter here as well, so we can actually look at people. We will have to search names at some point as well. We've got the marketplace here if we want to... Buy new things. You've got decorations here, look, different music. I need to find out is it copyright or not. And then we might put the music back on the next one. Um, but yeah, we need to progress through the story to unlock all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so what we'll do, we go back to the ground web. So we must have some more gigs, right? I'm not sure what that means. Okay. What the hell is going on? Where is my music? <laughs> I'm playing the animal Shut sounds. Down. Party is over. Good. 
I will teach these morons not to disturb the public in the middle of the night. Head back to your apartment and complete the new gigs that await you. Okay, so we're back in the apartment. And uh, let's see what we got next then. So on the ground web, this is where the gigs are gone. So we've got Grades of Chaos. Hack into Austin University and proceed to manipulate the students' grades, causing chaos and mayhem across the campus. Okay. So what is it wants to search? Austin University on Twitter. There we go. We're going to be using that now. Uh, control V. Let's have a look then. So we can go through the tweets here. Uh, introduce our new AI powered grade system and enable students to improve their grades, pinpoint areas, and enhancement. So basically, I think that's what we want. Find the target's email address. Okay, so we've got the email address here now. Uh, we want to go into our email. So we're going to sign in. When composing an email, you'll need to learn more about each recipient and other preferences. For instance, you might select the gaming category for gamers, meeting category for employees, and report category for higher level employees. Okay, compose a message to the email. Okay, we'll probably want to put meeting, right? Because he's a teacher. I hope you're doing well, right? Into important discuss current project. Okay, is that what we want? Select a suitable subject and utilize data manipulation in the attack. Okay. But basically, that means he will read that. So we're going, we've gone fishing. I think that's what they call it, right? I don't know do I need Twitter anymore or not. Okay. Uh, users security has been compromised, leaving them exposed to successful subsequent waves of cyber attacks. The attack is concluded and the report for the recent attacks provided below. Okay, so I probably want to download these files, right? Yeah. So we downloaded you. And downloaded you. So we've got two files that we can manipulate here. Choose the outcome and send the desired file to Austin University EDU command send. Okay, so we're going to go into the terminal. We're going to press uh, send. So the file name, so I think we can pick any file we want. So we downloaded two, so where are they? Um, let's have a read. So this one goes from B's to F's. What does this one do? B's to A's. Okay, let's give everybody A's, right? We're feeling good. We're a good hacker. And the host name has to go back to uh, austinuniversity.edu. Okay, so copy. I think that's what it wants. Okay, to the host. Okay, so everyone's going to have A's. Seems like you've got the hang of it. There are more gigs awaiting you. Complete them, and you'll soon be ready for your first major assignment. Okay, now we get to the underground web. Okay, so... No, not, not hack fire, underground web. So we've got, oh, we've got three new gigs here. So we still don't have a main gig. We've got these side ones to learn more things. Award. Gain access to the Ballon de Floor Awards magazine and disclose the receipt of the Best Player Award. Right, okay, so... We'll try that. Okay, search on the internet for CEO Ballon de Floor named Etoine Dubois. Okay, so I need to look on the internet for him. So I'm assuming it's Twitter. Oh, okay, it wants us to use Harvester. Now, I think I need to buy the Harvester, right? I don't think I have a Harvester. Uh, underground Web. Okay, let's buy the Harvester. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it. So, Harvester... And then we just search his name, Anton Dubois. Okay, so now it's going to target him. But it's going to find a lot of IPs. So we need to find an IP that is uh, relevant to the ball on the floor. Okay, so here we go. I failed to announce a fresh design. A kind of magazine issue logged IP protected. Just caught the latest match. What a showdown. These athletes continue to amaze. We revamped the digital platform to offer even more immersive experience from in-depth player profiles, interactive quizzes, drop by an exhibit. So hang on. A target individual. Dropped an art exhibition, it won't be them. So it's not them two. Well, Ballon de Floor would be football, wouldn't it? 
in-depth player profile. I think it's this one. Okay, so we're going to connect to this IP. We'll find out. If it's wrong, we'll have to find another one. And so we need to use Nmap. Use his IP there. Let me see who we connect to. This isn't likely to be vulnerable to an eternal blue 1.0.1. .1. So we need to go into Hacker Fight. Uh, what was it? Eternal blue 1.0.1. .1. Okay, so $15. Got to do what you got to do, haven't you, I suppose? So use. We need internal blue. Uh, it's version 1.0.1 .1 to the IP of you. It's like a copy and paste simulator, isn't it? Okay, so reverse handle operation. So now it's it's hacking into him. Okay, so the port's open. All right, so what does it want to do next? Connect the server utilizing the exploit command. Use download the file containing the rankings of the players. Okay, who have we got here then? Ten top players. We've got Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, Nima, Kylian Mappi, Lewandowski. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mohamed Salala Houdini. Nice. Kevin De Bruz, Harry Can. <laughs> oh, I like it. Okay, let's download the file. So I've stolen his file. Oh, he has got a credit card here too. So shall we? Uh, we might as well hack into that, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go to credit cards here. You know, we're putting in this effort. We might as well see if we can get anything for it. What's this? CVV357. Okay, let's query what we can get here. So this is going to be plus one heat. 45. Okay, so this will give me no heat. So I'm going to just keep taking the heat at the moment because that's going to rise and soon we're going to have to control that. So I'll take his 40 pounds. All right, now what does it want me to do? So it wants me to send the file to Talk Football News. So I'm going to copy that name. So we're going to press send again. Oh. File name is... I've already saved it. And the host name is Talk Football News. So we're basically um, giving out information that shouldn't be out there. This is what hackers do though, right? Pay close attention to your anonymity factor. It's reaching alarming levels, attracting unwanted attention from adversaries. Okay, alert levels. When engaging in hacking activities, you'll generate heat and draw attention from various parties. Head to the underground web, select and find out more about enhancing your concealment. Okay, as you can see here, we've got uh, an anomaly. Is 50, heat is 50% already. Wow. Uh, now, we can reduce that with cipher points. Uh, currently, I have five, and they all do different things. Digital footprint decreases... Let's have a look. What's the worst thing here? Uh, it's hard to know what's worth doing or not doing. We'll, we'll look at that now in a second. Underground web alert and upgrade. So if we go to the underground web. These are the things that it's on about. I don't see nothing um, in Hackify to help. There's nothing there to help me. So, okay. So, yeah, it must be these alerts here. So, we can use one with nominally factor by five. We can... There we go. I've acquired that. So, that's reduced it. Reduce my heat. Uh, reduce the digital footprints. Decrease penalty threshold by three. Do I just acquire that? I did. I don't see nothing really happening there. Okay, we'll use one of all of them. That should help us to some extent. Okay, so we still need to do the uh, the gig. So we've got CPU shutdown. What's this then? Infiltrate Intel's main server, which is hosting the presentation for their highly anticipated 18th generation CPUs. Upload a virus, execute the shutdown. Uh, okay, let's see if we can work this one out. So comply the source file corruptor exe malware. Uh, using the terminal, not ready if not already completed. Cook. So we need to buy something there, don't we? Um, Corrupted.exe. Uh, 
Ah, here it is. So, a virus. Okay, so. Used to cause a range of harmful effects. Data corruption to system instability. $50. After patching malware or an attack, they will not appear on your device unless you first cook them. Yeah, so we have to cook them. Uh, so, if we go into the terminal and we press cook. And then you can pick up the name. So, we just brought corrupted.exe. Some of you guys might prefer typing all this stuff. Be there forever. Okay, so this will take some time to cook, I think. Okay, it has been claimed and saved to the malware directory. Okay, that's good. So what we need to do next is we need to search for information on both of these people. So we're going to be using Harvester, which was the thing that we brought before. So we're going to have to search for Randy Port. And now this is going to try and get some information on him. And then it looks like we have to do it on Patrick Simmons. And then we need to read through the two leaks and search for any repeating patterns. Okay. Okay, yo, Pete, we got this 411 on Randy's port crew, the digital hustle, regular no leaks. We're talking logs, entry times, and even the tech that we're rocking. Okay, so they're using some sort of code that we're going to have to uh, link up. Okay, and that's fine. So we can use Harvester again. And we'll go Patrick Simmons, and then we're going to have to find the one that uh, matches or doesn't match or something. Yeah, matching, because it's repeating pattern is what we're looking for here. Okay, so you can see here it's got an IP. Okay, so we need to um, work out which one is which. Okay, so we've seen a few there. Uh, okay, so the one that I see, I think it's Saturn Laptop, Nova Cipher. Yeah, okay, so it must be Saturn Laptop. This must be the IP I need to hack. Uh, so now we want to run Nmap because we want to hack him. Okay, likely to run to a DNS query. Okay, so system DNS query. Uh, which one? 1.01. .01. Okay, so now we want to use... Okay, and that's version 1.0.1 .1 to the IP of where we did the end map. Okay, so we're now hacking him. What's next? Connect to the server utilizing the exploit use. Yep. Upload corrupt the exe malware command upload. So it's under malware, right? Corrupt the exe. I mean, he doesn't seem to have any uh, information I can steal off him. Okay, so I'm going to need corrupted.exe, copy you. Uh, so was it upload? No, upload. Delete the file named Intel's announcement. Alright, where did that one come from? Is there anything here I can steal? No, it doesn't look like it. Disconnect from the server. There we go. Disconnected. I only got a hundred dollars for that gig though. That's pretty pretty poor. Forty eight percent heat. I still got one cipher point. I mean, we've only got one point, so maybe we should just take that and keep the heat down as best we can. Penalty threshold is at 27 at the moment. So we'll probably want to reduce that at some point as well. All right. So we've got fish link extraction. This will be the last one we're doing today's video. Maybe. Depends how long it takes me to do it. Compile the source of file credential harvester malware using the term. I've not already. Okay, so we need to buy something else there now, then. Uh... 
Alright, let's go and hack a fight. Credential Harvester. So, have I already got Credential Harvester? No, it's this here. Used for stealthy extraction of sensitive credentials. Okay. We're going to have to cook it. James may be harboring secrets. Now might be the time to dig deeper. Covert gigs are secret missions to unlock you delve deep into the cyber world. In this instance, utilize a credential harvest that can reveal hidden truths about James Bellingham. Okay. I need to cook it first. Okay, so if we go cook. Search the tweeter for information about the individual named Tom and that dude. Okay. Tweeter. Okay, join the epic Fortnite journey with the Tom to do conquer the battlefields. Alrighty, so... Wow, I've searched that. I'm not sure what I'm searching for. Okay, so Harvester has been cloned. Okay, that's good. Sign into your GoMail account. Alright, I don't know if I need that. GoMail, sign in. We're going fishing, aren't we? Post message to the following email address. Tom, that dude. The attack must be a credential harvester. Uh, so he's a gamer. If someone sent me some of the gaming, I'd probably open it too. So, yeah, I think that will work out all right. Uh, wait the results. Okay. Email sent. Okay, I've collected some credentials. Utilize to obtain information to the GoMail account. So, Tommy, my idiot, is his password. Um, so we need to log off. We know that he's Tom, that dude. So we want to basically now sign into his emails and have a look what he's doing. Um, that was our email that we sent him. But password request. Okay, so. This epic lames account on sale for the underground web hackify account. Okay, so let's get rid of you. Uh, we need to bring up the hackify, and we're now going to look at the account selling, I believe. So we got Tom. That dude is his username, and then this is his password for now. We query the account. So we see it's an Epic Lane account, and we'll get fifty dollars for it. Congratulations on completing those gigs. Now it's time for your first major assignment. We have a situation involving a white hat hacker named Edward Oliver. He was determined to expose a hidden truth the government has been concealing from the world. Unfortunately, before he could reveal anything, he was shot. Okay, so actually, we'll finish with this one because this is our main gig for the story. Unveiling the veil. I need you to backtrack Edward Oliver's movements leading up to the shooting. Dig deep, follow the digital breadcrumbs, and uncover any leads that could shed light on who might have targeted him. We need to find out why he was silenced and bring those responsible to justice. The truth must prevail. Okay, so in these ones, the objections are hidden. That's that's okay. Um, so he wants us to go onto Twitter first. It does help guide us. Now, I think if you're on hard mode, you wouldn't get anything. Hey, I just scored an exclusive invite to CryptoCon. Can't wait to learn his latest tricks. Connecting the dots, fast digital landscape. Okay, so. The last place he visited. Okay, it has to be uh, CryptoCon, right? Okay, so we're going to go into the terminal. We're going to go to Harvester... Crypto.com, I think that's what we want to do, right? Let's find out who shot him. Okay, so I found an IP. Run nmap. And the IP is here. So we can hack into them now, find out what happened to this guy who got shot. Connect to the server utilizing the available exploit command used. Okay, so we need RDP brute force 1.1. RDP brute force 
Okay, so that's fine. We use the use command v version uh, 1.0.1 .1, and the IP is here. Okay, what have we got here then? Search for evidence. We've received your payment. Confirm cooperation regarding the obstacle CryptoCon. Our team is prepared to assist the discussion. Attach your comprehensive plan for operation. It oh, here you go. evidence that Edward Oliver was indeed framed by CryptoCon. Moreover, the identity of this enigmatic figure, Serpent King, raises numerous questions. There is a complex web to untangle, but you must ensure the delivery of this incriminating evidence to the media. Okay, so we want to download the file. Okay, we're sending this to the news. See, we're a good hacker. We're not a bad hacker. Uh, so what is it? Send. File name is... Oh, no. And that's going to the host at moonnews.com. Okay, so there we go. That should be sent. We have leads on a few facilities that could be connected to Serpent King. However, it's late now. We'll have to wait until morning to pursue further. Yeah, I've got one cipher credit. I think it's probably worth bringing the penalty threshold down. So I'm going to wait until we get another level. Um, restful await. So if we go into the news now, you see anonymous hacker group uncovers cryptic connection. You're shooting. Here we go. So yeah, look, the news comes up when we do things. Um... White hat hacker shot after government exposed sparks. Okay, so this was the guy, was it? Oliver, yeah, this was him. Right, so there's no more gigs. It wants us to go to sleep. And we're going to look at spyware attacks. I'm going to leave this very first episode here. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you want to see some more of this, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like bell. And other than that, thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll see you at the next one. Bye for now.